Good to hear that music again. Welcome to the warm-up. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings in Lima. We'll talk Lima Central Catholic Columbus Grove football. I'm Mark Coons. Patrick Cameron will join us momentarily. But first, talking Grove football with Bulldogs head coach Andy Schaefer. And coach, off to a 3-0 start. Are you surprised that you guys are 3-0? But you kind of just plan to win every game. So, no, I'm not, not really surprised. That was part of the game plan. So, uh, you know, we just uh, went into every game and uh, gave it our best, and, and that's where we're at right now. How important was that week one victory over Pandora Gilboa? Did that kind of set the tone for those first few weeks? That was big, and I actually appreciate the fact that it was a close game. Um, a lot of people ask me that, what did you think of that? And it, it really helped us because last year we were in a lot of close games and we couldn't get over the hump. And uh, for us to start off the year with a, with a rivalry game like it was and and really compete like we did and, and, and get a win, that was huge for us. That definitely set the tone. Yeah, close win over PG. Yeah, the lightning delayed victory over Allen Easton went on the road last week to beat Ada. I, I suppose that's another one of those milestones you kind of look at every season is that first road game. Coming back with a victory has got to make that doubly sweet. Yeah, Ada's definitely, they're a, they're a tough team. They're a tough competition team. And, um, well, the whole NWC is pretty good. But, uh, uh, but yeah, it was good for our kids to get it, get that win. And, it was a battle. I mean, up until about three or four minutes left in the fourth quarter, it was tied. So uh, for us to kind of open it up there at the end with some big plays, we, we it, it helped. What have you seen out of your team so far this year that's maybe opened your eyes that maybe you didn't think would come along as quickly as they have? Honestly, um, what I appreciate most out of our team is just our family. Um, we are just one big family. Everybody's got their backs. And it, just the way that we celebrate, the way that we just get excited and and every, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or if you're a senior, um, you just, you're part of it. And I, I just really appreciate that this year. You look at the stats through three weeks, there's not any individuals that really jump out at you saying, wow, this kid's really doing a great job. It's, it's a total team effort through yeah, three weeks. Yeah, we got a selfless team, and, and sometimes our offense has kind of carried us. Sometimes our defense has carried us. And even last week, our special teams kind of carried us. So, uh, yeah, we, we definitely have a good mix on our team. Any concern about kids' focus this week with LCC, the history with, with Coach Palti? Not really at all. You know, we talked about we're not playing Coach Palti this week. We're playing LCC. So our kids know that. They understand that. And it's just uh, we've really focused this year about just playing ourselves. Uh, we just got to do our job and, and just let the outcome of the game take its place. It, it's been a while since Grove has beat LCC, the last victory, 2006. I, I suppose there are some kids who are looking forward to that game just to end that slump. Honestly, we've not even talked about that, so I, <laughs> I have no idea. We're just taking that, uh, taking one game at a time and see where we're at. Quarterback this year, Reed Steck Schulte, has done a good job for you. He's done a great job. You know, he's just a sophomore stepping in, and uh, uh, he's had some good games. Obviously, there's some certain areas where he needs to improve, but but he's really uh, spent a lot of time just in the film room, on the, on the marker board, just extra time uh, learning that position at quarterback because it's such a key role. And, and we're excited about uh, what he's been doing and his leadership. And what I really like about it is the way that our guys just gather around him, our seniors, and just took him under his wing and just say, hey, you got this. You got this, Reed. You know, just uh, just do your job, and, and we'll, we'll be the game players. Yeah, when you can rely on senior leadership like that, it makes your job as a coach a little bit easier. Absolutely, definitely does. Looking ahead on the schedule, LCC a big game and then another big game with Spencerville. You look at this little stretch here between Ada, LCC, and Spencer. You guys are really going through the ringer through this early part of the schedule. <laughs> I have no idea. Right now it's just <laughs> LCC. You know, I have not looked at the other schedules and any of that kind of stuff. And we're just, we're just taking one game at a time. You you look at the NWC as a whole, and I think we were 10-2 and two right now, a non-conference opponent. So, you know, we, you know, we got a good conference right now. So we just can't look ahead at all. We just got to take one game at a time. And, and obviously LCC is a, a good opponent. How has the practice gone so far this week? It's been good. Uh, we've, we've gotten out there and, uh, um, you know, the guys know the routine since since I've been there a little while now. And, and Coach Snyder, our defensive coordinator, has been there also. You know, the, the kids know what they expect and, and they go through and, and do their drills and, and uh, look at their scouting reports and, and prepare. And we've been doing good. What's your message to the team preparing for LCC? They just need to, they just need to focus and they need to play physical and they just need to play as a family. So if they do those things, we'll be all right. What do you think the key to the game is going to be on Friday? Key to the game is just, uh, I think it's going to be more mental than it is physical. Um, there's going to be a, it's going to be a big crowd. I mean, Climber Stadium is going to be rocking, no question. Um, you know, they're, they're going to bring a decent crowd too. And, and uh, we just got to, it's just another game. It's just another game on the schedule. Play as a family, play as a team, and focus up and, 
and get a W. Been giving up about 20 points a game. Do you think you can continue to outscore your opponents, or are you looking for your defense to pick up their game a little bit? Well, honestly, a couple of those, uh, uh, well, in the first two games, we gave up kick returns for touchdowns. So we got that fixed in the third game, but, uh, you know, so, some of those points were, were special teams too. Special teams is always a big part of the game. So uh, I'm not, I have no doubt our defense will be ready to play. So, you know, we'll just, we'll just take what the defense gives us, and offensively we'll just uh, attack. What's it like when Climber Stadium is rocking like we're expecting it to be on Friday night? <laughs> Climber Stadium is just such a neat, unique uh, place. Everybody that always comes in, like if I have sales reps that come in and different things, they're like, there's no way this is Division Seven school. I mean, just the way the stadium's built, uh, people see that the way that the band and the community and just everybody supports us. And it's just not your normal small town. <laughs> and uh, it's just really neat. I, I, I just love every minute of being uh, a part of Columbus Grove. Columbus Grove LCC will be the game Friday night. Of course, we'll have plenty of highlights on the sports board on Friday. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, Patrick Cameron will join us, sit down with some of the Bulldog players here on the warm-up LCC Columbus Grove football on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up show. We are here at Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Patrick Hamler. I'm joined with a couple of Bulldogs. To my right is senior Joey Warnicky, and to my left, David Bogart. David, I'll start with you. You guys are 3-0. and You guys are off to a great start. Are, are you surprised at this point to be where you are? Oh, no. We worked hard all in the offseason, so being 3-0 and isn't a surprise. Cause we expected to win all these games, so being 3-0 and is no surprise to me. What have you guys... Um, really worked on the hardest or I guess what what do you feel has contributed the most to you guys being undefeated so far this season well mostly it's just being as a team working together last year probably a bunch of individuals so working together and becoming one team one unity being together just that's probably what is what is helping us the most other than that it's just doing what we're supposed to do fundamentals tackling route running blocking all that uh, good stuff that makes the team good Joey, I'll turn to you now. What What is something that you have taken away from – I'll just start with your win last week. What specific takeaways did you have from that game? You know, wins are good, and they help they help build the team and help the team stick together, you know, builds us up. and But we, it helps us work even harder. You, we know how good it feels to win and makes us want to strive for more. You see LCC coming up on the schedule. What What's the first thing that goes through your head? Uh, just an, It's another game. We play a lot of good teams, and – you know, it's going to be a good game. They're going to play hard, and we're going to play our hardest, too. You guys have had some pretty mostly convincing wins. Your first game was pretty close, 30-28. Uh, do you, do you learn, what do you learn from the games that are pretty significant wins versus what do you learn from the games that are pretty close? Well, uh, close games, you learn how to fight through what's tough and just doing the, the stuff you have to do at the end of the game to be, make a win and then... Winning the games that you should win, you don't learn too much. You just learn that you have to keep playing all four quarters. You just can't give up one quarter just because you're winning by a lot. You just got to keep playing all four. Next three games, counting the one with LCC, you've also got Spencerville and Jefferson coming up. Knowing that you're going to have a, a pretty tough road through your next four weeks, does that change how you approach from this week going forward? Has that affected that at all? You know, we, we know how much harder we got to work and keep building up, but, you know, we're still focused on ourselves, make ourselves better, and set ourselves up for a good game. Joey, David, thanks a lot for joining us today. Thank you. When we come back, we'll have a couple more Bulldogs right here on the warm-up on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up here on BW3. I'm Patrick Kamler, and we have a bevy of a panel of Columbus Grove Bulldogs joining me right now. Over on the far side, we've got Andrew Bergheim. Next to me, Christian Steckschulte. And on my other side, Tanner Frump. Tanner, I'm going to start with you. You guys are 3-0 and so far. What, what does that feel like to start the season undefeated? Well, 
it feels pretty great because like last year we went two and eight so it's a great way to start the season off i'll go over the over for the end there for you andrew what have you guys learned from being undefeated does being three and oh does that help build a confidence that maybe was lacking from the team last year yeah i think it's really helped build a confidence with our team christian i'll go to you now you, you guys have had some a couple of competitive games, your first one, 30 to 28. The last two, not really blowouts, but they were pretty solid wins. What does, what do the big wins, I guess, teach you along with the really close games? Uh, we definitely can't take anything for granted. Uh, even against Ada, we won by 14, but we were tied going into the fourth quarter. So we just got to play solid the whole game and hope we come out with the win. When you see LCC coming up on your schedule next, what was the first thing that came to your mind? 4-0 uh, pretty much. We're looking, for the, we're looking to be 4-0. Columbus Grove hasn't done that in a while, and we think this is the year to do it. Andrew, you guys, you guys have some tough games coming up. You've got Spencerville. You've got LCC this week. A couple weeks after that, you guys are taking on Jefferson. Has that increased how you guys prepare for the game has that added anything to what you do practice week in and week out no we just focus on the next game coming up at, so okay. tanner to come back to you when um with practice this week what have you guys specifically worked on is there anything that you, you came away from your last win and you're thinking or coaching staff is thinking all right we got to work on this we got to get better at that what was that specifically that you guys have been working on this week We've just been working on the same stuff so that way we can become a more fine-tuned team to keep moving on in the season. Compare yourselves now to last year. Obviously, more wins this year, you're 3-0. and But other than that, what are the big differences you see between this team this year and a team last year? The team as a whole came together, and we all started trusting each other and trusting the coaches, and we've all worked a lot harder, so we've all came together like I said to win more games I guess what are some talk about the, the coming together part talk about what are some ways that that has happened where do you see that happening um we all put ourselves let's say um well I, I don't know we just really been working hard as a team and we I don't know yeah just worked really hard Kind of, kind of stumped yeah, me there. Think, working hard is a great one. Working hard is a great answer. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, Christian, Tanner, Andrew, guys, thanks a lot for joining us. That is going to do it for the warm-up show. For Mark Coots, I'm Patrick Hamler. We'll see you next time.